So I went to uh, the United Arab Emirates and I met a man called Mr. Dad, which is not, it sounds like a dodgy pun in a carry on film, but actually his name is Dad, Muhammad Dad. He's got uh, one leg, he's a pensioner, he's penniless, and he's got 84 children. 84? Yeah. No. Yeah, which is no. amazing, isn't it? And how old is the youngest? Uh, three months old, I <gasps> seem to remember. Although I'm sure there's, he's possible? got several buns in the oven as we speak, you know, because no. he's, yeah, he's had How a great year. How many wives? Year. Four wives. He's a devout Muslim and under Islamic law, you're allowed to have up to four wives. But he has interpreted, uh, maybe not the uh, spirit of the law, but the letter of the law by divorcing them. So he's got a sort of conveyor belt. <gasps> And it's based upon fertility. No. Yeah. Why are the girls going for him? One leg. Don't know. Don't know what he's got going on because he's not bringing a lot to the party in the looks department. It, it's not clear what the allure is, but uh, somehow it happens, you know. And he's he's on the bandwagon, and and he's um there's a, the sheikh of Ajman, which is the province he lives in, is bankrolling the project. He chips in with a bit of cash. No. Yeah. So it's an amazing story, really. And I was surprised to discover that the kids are quite happy, actually. You know, they're all, like, well-clothed and fed and rested, unlike my one kid, who, uh, frankly, you know, is days away from being taken away from me. So I... Because I thought that would <laughs> be the sure biggest that thing. Isn't the case. No, probably I'm not, sure. but I do find it a full-time job, keeping a little guy but sorted think, out and in order. So 84, kind of, you know, the mind boggles, really. But that's a community. I mean, that's a team. They must just look after each other. Yeah, that's exactly what so I maybe noticed. Maybe you should start having a few more. Yeah, I think so. I've had a word with the wife about Spread it. Spread the responsibility yeah. amongst a few of you. Mr. Dad has given me his uh, hot sex <laughs> advice. He really has, actually. Inspiration. He said you've got to start with uh, p pretty speeches for the lady. <gasps> no. Yeah, beautiful words, fancy words, and then lovely snacks. Because you chicks, you like a snack. I'm, I'm a big fan of a snack. <laughs> I'm a big fan of so, a snack. So, you know, I'm thinking a little buffet, you know, some <laughs> volivant perhaps, smoked salmon always.